Natalie here. Today I'm going to show you how I came up with my mince pie recipe and how I got approval from the mince pie council. So apparently mince pie is very popular in Ireland and the UK during the holiday season and you can find them in any supermarket starting in late November. Different brands certainly have different types of mince pie. And as an immigrant to Ireland, I certainly want to assimilate to my new culture. Did the rain stop yet? And the best way I can come up with it is making certainly gluten-free mince pies. Uh, yeah, no, mince pies are already a thing here. Cheers. I don't know, just bloody foreigners coming in here, stealing our recipes, our jobs, our women. What a buzzkill. I'm gonna go ahead with my experiment. I don't have any reference points though. I did review yesterday night a different mince pie recipe on the web. And the BBC is a safe bet. Britain has mince pie, right? And I need an Irish recipe. So I'm gonna go with super value. For good measures, I'm also gonna add Epicurious, one of my most trusted websites. However, they are American. And can I trust Americans with a mince pie recipe? Looking over the ingredients list, they have many more of them. I was reviewing the different recipes and realized that a lot of them use a fair amount of booze. So apparently booze is an integral part of a mince pie. They also use an orange and a lemon. And mixed peel, which is candied lemon and orange peel and plenty of raisins and sultanes. And I was wondering, do raisins actually grow in Ireland or Great Britain? Or isn't it a bit nippy for that? So I looked it up and learned that, yes, grapes, which are sultanes and raisins, grow on the south wall in Great Britain and in Ireland. To the confusing bits and pieces. How does 15th, 16th, 17th century Ireland or the UK have nutmeg and cinnamon. That are spices just grown in tropical climates. I don't think it's a part of the authentic mince pie recipe. And kudos to Super Value, that's the only recipe which didn't add any cinnamon or nutmeg. And before I forget it, certainly all the recipes have apples. So now I got my recipe, made up my own, and now I'm gonna show you what happened in the kitchen. So I'm going to go into my zone and start mixing and cooking the different minced meat recipes. I'm going to cut the apples and add the dried fruits and certainly add some of the liquor. Some of the fruits require me to cook them in. I don't just want to soak in the liquor, but all of the recipe require me to wait for 24 hours for the liquor to soak into the fruits. I'm going to mark the different containers with the different fillings so I can find them in the morning. The next day I rolled out the pie dough and filled them with the different pie fillings. And I marked each of the pie fillings with different cutouts. So I tasted the different mince pies, but I'm a mince pie new. How would I know what constitutes a real good tasty mince pie? So I needed some serious help. So there is a mince pie council. Uh-huh, you heard me right, a mince pie council. And who would not be better to judge the four different recipes and tell me which one is the best mince pie recipe? So a little bit of history about the Mince Pie Council. It's a group of software developers who have been meeting once a year around November or December in the cafeteria, where they have picked up from the different bakeries and markets the different mince pies. And they're tasting them based on very set criteria to then evaluate which mince pie is the best mince pie for this year in Dublin. I figured, since there are no offices at the moment, I'd pack up my mince pies and bring it to the different council members. And we are under lockdown. We gotta have a five kilometer radius. And most of the council members live outside my five kilometer radius. So we have to do some math. I have to figure out the border of my 5 km radius and hope it intersects with another council member's 5 km radius. And luckily it does. So Jamie and me are going to meet at a secret location. I'm going to hand over my mince pies. And then he's going to go to the border of his 5 km radius to hand it over to the other council members. And with that, we can distribute 
the mince pies all across Dublin to all the different council members. The mince pies got all delivered and we're meeting today on Zoom to discuss which one is the best mince pie recipe and what can be improved. We yeah, wanted, I agree. you know, uh, we check the flavor, uh, the flavor of the, the filling, the amount of the filling, the flavor of the pastry, the texture of the pastry, the uh, booziness, and I think they're probably the most important five, right? And we keep the others as well, like the presentation, the consistency, the availability. Okay, so guys, don't go so fast. Don't eat everything raw. Wait up, it. Yep. I don't know if that means it scores a five. I, I'm not sure if five is supposed to be quantity of booze or the correct amount of booze. This uh, at this, um, at yeah, this point, a, we yeah. should know, no, Mark? Yeah, but we've never gotten to a point where they all have booze that we can start refining a category. It's dark rum. Dark rum. Okay. What so, What is an appropriate booze for a mince pie, Paul? I think brandy, whiskey, sherry. All right. Yeah, I think. I don't know. What well, is the booze category for the correct booze, or how much it tastes the booze? Yeah, this is the thing. I've never come across a rum never mince had this pie. Problem before. <laughs> and the winner is Super Value. That was That's really true. good. Natty, that was a, an excellent mince pie. Congratulations. Yeah. By was, far, yeah. number four is top marks. So the takeaway is that the mince pie from Super Value is the best mince pie. Ironically, it's also the one which has, as I mentioned, no added spices in it. Yeah, it's a little bit chewy for me. Yeah, I, I, I think I yeah. agree with that. Parts of it are chewy, some parts aren't. Mm -hmm. Like it should be more crumbly, mm -hmm. kind of shortbread kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. I did a silly mistake. I read mince pie and thought pie. Oh, I need to use the American pie crust. No, that's a very different type of crust than the mince pie crust. Mince pie uses a short. No, short bread. Uses a short bread crust. If there was one thing that I would improve with the pastry or with the filling taste, it would be to give it something more unique. Because right now it hits like all the baseline that I would expect yeah. for like that, but there's nothing in it that really like, oh, that's really cool or different or I really like this part. It's more just like, yeah, it hits all the basic notes. Based on the feedback, I did a few iterations and used this time the proper shortbread pastry, which I also use in my gluten-free tart recipe. I also added something unexpected to my minced meats, sent the mince pie back out to the council members and got high marks. You can see that recipe in my mince pie video from last week. I hope you enjoyed learning how I came up with my mince pie recipe. And if so, please subscribe to my channel and check the bell to get notifications about any upcoming videos.